Right, I'm going to have to put my camera down to more up. That was a nice cruise, wasn't it? Beautiful. Wow, it's dark. It's quarter to five. But I was amazed at the moon, so I've actually come outside to try and film it. I've got to be very careful because it's freezing cold. And uh, the jetties, the pontoons are very slippy. Take a look. It is very, very dark. Watching my step, I don't know whether you can see the lights on the boats a little bit further over, but take a look at this. Wow. It's a full moon tonight, a new moon. I've made a wish. That's beautiful. Yes, the marina at night takes on a different different feeling completely. I can hear the heaters on the boats purring away and I can smell all the fires, all the boaters keeping warm. I, on the other hand, have my central heating on, on chugs. Very rarely do I light it in here. Unless I have company and it, it, it's nice, but it's all warm in there. Let's have a look if I can see if the boys are about. Oh, I can see Chip on patrol. Look, he's watching. I think Dale's probably gone to bed. He'll be lying on his bed. Oh, he is. He's down there watching. He's wondering where his dad's gone. Right, better get back in. Well, here I am back on the boat. 1.7 degrees out there. And 15 and a half inside chugs, but it does feel lovely and warm in here, to be fair. It's lovely and snug. Chips are watching the telly. And Dale's up there. We've just had an afternoon snooze, haven't we, Dale? And cuddles. You've been wrapped in Dad's cardigan. It does seem weird. I'm watching the telly. And all the time. The moon's watching me. Look at that. That's phenomenal. That's really good. I'm worried about this dog. He just loves the telly. Chip! You're mad! Sorry, have I disturbed you? You're viewing. Where's Daily Whaley? There's Daily Whaley. What are you doing there? Right, tea's in the microwave. And then we can get cosy, boys. Wow, it's freezing this morning. It's Wednesday, the 30th of December, New Year's Eve tomorrow. Woohoo! Big party not. <laughs> oh, it's very cold. And who's this? <laughs> look at that! There's Geoffrey! <laughs> Say hello, Geoffrey! He doesn't look very amused. <laughs> He's a whippet, they don't like the cold weather. There's Geoffrey. unless it's sunny. <laughs> yeah, and there's Jules and Richie. Hey. Hey. There we go, we're going, they're taking their poo for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and your dog's poo. <laughs> yes, and they've just picked one of mine and uh, has uh, thrown one out without me knowing on the road. So Richie's got it in his in his trolley. You can see in the background uh, Jules and Richie and of course their beautiful dog uh, Captain Jeffrey uh, the Whippet. Yeah walking the dogs and uh, you bump into some lovely people their channel I'll leave a link below um, I've already told you fantastic channel uh, our narrowboat home so have a look at that. Yeah well by the way it's cold. <laughs> well, that was a very cold walk my hands are numb and the poor little dogs even though they've got their coats on are shaking come on boys come on it's nice and warm on chugs heading back to the boat now yes there'll be no party in this year will there they are on about having a bit of a socially distanced gathering on the jetty at midnight you're allowed i think six people well depending what boris says today we're all eagerly awaiting uh, to see 
what decisions the government have made on our behalf. Um, and of course we have to do our best. Come on, come on boys. We have to do our best to abide by them. Even as hard as it is. Very, very, very cold this morning. So I'm going to have my breakfast now. Running a bit late today. Yes, we're all awaiting what Boris's decision is. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I think we know what it's going to be. I think we'll be going into uh, another lockdown. Deep joy. That was a nice bit of breakfast. I enjoyed that. But now it's time to get the iron out and do my ironing. I know a lot of boaters don't iron on the marina. Um, they just don't bother, but I like to have my clothes ironed. I've said so before. It's just nice. I feel it cleans them more, if you know what I mean. They're very clean anyway, but just because I live on a boat, there's no reason to keep smart. Or well, not to keep smart, I should say. Quite therapeutic ironing. Yes, this announcement is going to affect, affect a lot of people, myself included, but I do have more of a positive attitude now. Um, I was dreading Christmas, so I'm actually pleased that that's behind me. Um, yes, it was a, a lonely Christmas and a very different Christmas, but I'm not moaning. I'm not the only one. I know people that are with people are still lonely, um, even when you've got people around you. You can still be in a lonely place. I know, because I've been there. And I know there's people out there that are like that right now. Times are tough, but we've got to get through this. I could just keep thinking of Cuba. It's my favourite place in the world. And it's a place I want to visit when things get back to normal, if I can. I'd love to go back to Cuba when I'm able to. To be honest with you, I'd be happy to get to Margate at the moment. Anywhere would be nice. Well, I think I've uh, said in previous vlogs, I've always done the ironing. I was the one that always did the ironing. Um, and I didn't mind it in the house. It was different because I used to put a good film on, on Netflix or something, watch a good film and stand there and do the ironing. And it was great with a full size ironing board. Uh, it was great. But obviously I'm limited for space here. And ironing isn't the same on one of these little tabletop ones. And I can't watch the telly. I can see my friend Kevin's boat out of the window. But uh, still, it's not a bad view. But sometimes I get my tablet and put it on the shelf and uh, even then, just watch a film and just get on with it. That's one chore done. Um, leave the iron on the top there, just to cool. Oh, I'm going to have a sit down for a little bit, just check my emails and bits and pieces and uh, then in a little while um, I'm going to go and help Leonie uh, move her boat. Um, she needs a pump out and she needs fuel. Um, well it's not actually Leonie's boat so she hasn't actually moved the boat on her own so uh, and she's moving off it uh, before long so I'm just going to go and help her uh, move it over to the fuel bay. Hello Chipster! To, uh, to fuel it up 
and to uh, to bump out. Deep joy. Off to help Leonie uh, move her boat round. Got me gloves. <laughs> theory we're going over there I should be able to go straight in and then reverse straight back so that's what we're gonna do well that's what Leonie's gonna do are you gonna do this Leonie? Oh, <laughs> here we are and Beckles is on the point but uh, we're gonna get the manager here um, she's paying it a little bit extra to get the manager to do the pump out I did it last time but nothing came out but I did it right I've done pump outs for other people here but uh, just to be safe and there's the man himself there but it's freezing it's not boating weather today but these jobs have to be done well that's it Ollie's done the pump out filled it up with fuel now just put him blue into the toilet winter fresh winter fresh there we go job done so uh, job's done. Um, just uh, wait for Leonie to go and pay and then take the boat back. It's actually turning out quite nice now. It's going to be better in about 10 minutes by the time we get back because Leonie's going to make a nice gin and tonic. That's it, job done. We're moored up safely. Oh, it's still cold though, so we're having a socially distanced gin, gin and tonic. I've just heard off one of my subscribers and supporters of the channel. He's had a a very tough year, him and his wife this year, but it's his birthday today, I've just heard of him. Many happy returns, Eugene, all the very best to you, mate. We'll get through it, just New Year's Eve to go. It's going to be the worst one for you, and me. Get that one done, and we'll be right. Right, I'm going to have uh, a nice socially distanced gin and tonic with uh, this young lady. And, uh, yeah, and then probably get back on the boat, because there's absolutely nothing else to do. That's it, I've just prepared some veg, uh, some pigs in blankets and some bits and pieces because I'm going to make dinner tonight and take one over f uh, to Ian. Um, looks like we're going to be tier four, which is basically a full lockdown from midnight tonight, but we're still awaiting Boris's decision. Let's wait and see. It's as if Chip already knows the result. Do you know the result? You know what's happening, Chipster Whipster? You're not impressed, are you? No. That's it. Tier 4 restrictions for us for us here in Cheshire, which means basically we're stuck here. Um, I believe the CRT have closed the waterways as well. So uh, we're grounded. I feel like uh, naughty little school kids at the moment. We've been grounded. So there's only one thing to do. Cheers, Corona. Um, yes, we're stuck. So this is going to be my last vlog, obviously, um, for 2020. So good riddance to 2020. I will be so glad to see the end of it. I've lost so much, but I'm not the only one. Uh, a lot of people have lost so much. Let me pick you up again. We're going for a walk. Um, yeah, made Ian. Uh, a nice big tea, put it on the uh, on the boat for him, so uh, I hope he enjoyed it anyway. So yes, feeling very restricted, but I'm not the only one, and there's people a lot worse off than me. At least I've got a home. So, have a wonderful, wonderful New Year's Eve. I don't know what you're going to be doing tonight, probably not a lot, unless you live with loved ones, but cherish them and make the most of them, trust me. Uh, happy New Year, folks. All the best for 2021.